A, 11 minus 2, and B, minus 3, 14, are two points. Find the midpoint of AB. So we're going to use the midpoint formula, which is x1 plus x2 divided by 2, comma, y1 plus y1 divided by 2. And we're going to label our points x1, y1, x2, y2. So I'm going to swap x1 for 11 and bring down the plus. I'm going to swap x2 for minus 3 and that's all over 2, comma. I'm going to swap y1 for minus 2 and bring down the plus and swap y2 for 14. That's all divided by 2. So 11 plus minus 3 is the same thing as 11 minus 3. And 11 minus 3 is 8. So I have 8 over 2, comma. And minus 2 plus 14 is 12. So 12 over 2. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. And 12 divided by 2 is 6. So the midpoint of AB is the point 4, 6. So we have an x value of 4 and a y value of 6. This is the final answer. This is the midpoint. We want a point as our answer. So we want an x value and a y value. We do not add these numbers together. This is the final answer. A, 11 minus 2, and C, minus 3, 14 are two points. Find the coordinates of B if C is the midpoint of AB. So this is method one. So to work this out, we're going to use our formula for the midpoint, which is x1 plus x2 divided by 2, comma, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. And we know that the point A is going to be x1, y1. But we don't know what the coordinates of B are. That's what we're trying to find out. So we're going to leave B as x2, y2. So substituting into our formula, we swap the x1 for 11. Bring over the plus, And the x2 stays as x2 because we don't know what x2 is, because x2, y2 is b. Then we have our comma. Then we swap y1 for minus 2. Bring over the plus. And y2 stays as y2. And this is all over 2. And this is equal to point C, which is the midpoint of AB. So we're trying to figure out what point B is. We know it's the other point that together with A gives us a midpoint of, of minus 3, 14. So remember this is point C. So if we were to draw out a line, we could label the point at one end as A, which is 11 minus 2, the point in the middle is C, which is minus 3, 14, and the point at the end is B, which is x2, y2. It's a good idea to draw this out so that we can imagine what we're actually looking for, which is this point at the end, which is x2, y2. So we can say that 11 plus x2 divided by 2 is equal to minus 3. So 11 plus x2 divided by 2 is equal to minus 3. And then we just solve for x. So if we multiply both sides by 2, That will get rid of the divide by 2 part. So we have 11 plus x2 equals minus 3 by 2, which is minus 6. Then we bring the 11 over the equal sign. It becomes minus 11. And minus 6 minus 11 is minus 17. So x2 is minus 17. So this first value here is minus 17. Then we can say minus 2 plus y2 divided by 2 is equal to 14. And again, we solve for y2 in this case. So we're going to multiply by 2 on both sides. 
and that will cancel out the divide by 2 part. So we have minus 2 plus y2 equals 14 multiplied by 2, which is 28. Then we bring the minus 2 over the equal sign, it becomes plus 2. 28 plus 2 is 30. So y2 is equal to 30. So that value there, that y2 is equal to 30. So x2 is equal to minus 17 and y2 is equal to 30. So the coordinates of point B are minus 17, 30. So this is method 2 for the same question. So A is 11 minus 2 and C is minus 3, 14. These are two points. We want to find the coordinates of B if C is the midpoint of AB. So the second method uses the translation AC to translate C to B. So if we took an XY axis and we plotted the two points that were given on the graph, so A is 11 minus 2. So we go to 11 on the X axis, minus 2 on the Y axis, and we plot our point, which is the red dot there. So that's 11 minus 2, point A. And then we plot point C, which is minus 3, 14. So you go to minus 3 on the x-axis, 14 on the y-axis, and we plot our second point. So that's the point C, minus 3, 14. And whatever distance we moved to get from point A to point C, we want to move the same distance in the same direction to get point B. So let's start with our x values. So our first x value was 11, and then we ended up at minus 3. So to go from 11 to minus 3, we're minusing 14. So what we would then have to do is minus 14 from minus 3. So we would subtract 14 from our x value. So we would subtract 14 from minus 3. And minus 3 minus 14 is minus 17. So that would be our new x value. Then we'd have a look at our y value, which was minus 2. And we went from minus 2 up to a y value of 14. So to go from minus 2 to 14, we've added on 16. So we have to add 16 to the y value. So we have to add 16 to 14. That's our y value. And 14 plus 16 is 30. So our y value is now 30. So B has the coordinates of minus 17, 30.